February, the month for week of compassion. <laughs> I've been asked to do a reading about the week of compassion and how it, it affects our church, our denomination. The world has followed the tragic abduction of more than 200 schoolgirls from Shabak, Nigeria. That, that tragedy is just one incident in an increasingly bloody attempt for Boko Haram Islamist insurgents to make Northeast Nigeria into an Islamic state. Caught in the middle is the Church of the Brethren in Nigeria, which is the largest Christian denomination in the area of northeast Nigeria, where Boko Haram is taking territory. <laughs> this year, the Church of the Brethren has seen many of its churches and congregations destroyed, as thousands of church members have been killed, and pastors and their families have been among the hundreds more people abducted since those 200 schoolgirls were taken. Most of the schoolgirls were from the Church of the Brethren in Nigeria. Estimates are more than 90,000 church members have been displaced by the fighting. Now, the situation is dire in the church's headquarters, headquarters property, and Cult Bible College has been taken by Boko Haram. The attack on the headquarters on October 29, 2014, occurred as Boko Haram fighters were on their way to attack and take the nearby city of Mumbai near the Cameroon border. It is believed most of those at the headquarters escaped alive, but many people in Mumbai and surrounding villages were killed, and others are now trapped in the control of Boko Haram. The EYN staff is displaced, and the church leadership is working to regroup. They are faced with the prospect of having to rebuild church offices and relocate staffs and their families. At the same time, the church continues to aid thousands of members who have been displaced. In addition, hundreds of pastors who were serving churches in the conflict zone are displaced without jobs or means to provide for families. These are crucial issues for the church's survival. Week of Compassion is responding through our partner, Church of the Brethren, by helping to provide food and supplies to the displaced and building temporary shelters at care centers in safer locations in central Nigeria, among other priorities that now include the relocation of the offices and staff of that church. Week of Compassion's ecumenical co commitment makes a real difference all over the world every single day. Even when the media's headlines move on to other news topics, we of Compassion is ready to respond not only to the disaster at hand, but remains for the long term. Thank you for putting your compassion into action from our doorstep to the ends of the earth. 